Ahoy pirate friends! I'm here to do my Skellywag TBR! Arr, arr. I'm drinking a Lichen Lichen Schnoogles? Lichen Kugels? Summer Shandy? Ugh, so good. I love Summer Shandy beers. Anyways, so if you may or may not recall the first Skellywagathon, I was a stowaway on a pirate ship, and this year they have upgraded me to the person that swabs the poop deck. So no one still know, doesn't know I'm a pirate. I'm just here. I'm sweeping the floors, and I'm drinking some drinks, and now I'm gonna be reading some books. And I really do need to sweep my floor. Like my floor is hella dirty. Okay, let's start with the book. So I'm starting off with poem number one on the map that's going to lead to the treasure. And by treasure, I mean my name is going to go into a raffle to win a $30 gift card. And I am pumped. Okay, so number one is Siren Song. And that is to read, I didn't write down what the prompts were, but... I think it was like to read a book that's about a mermaid or a siren and I picked To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Cristo. I'm so excited to read this. I've heard nothing but good things. It's like a dark Little Mermaid retelling type thing. I love dark retellings. It's one of my favorite subgenres. And ooh, my hair. I just got this in from the library almost three weeks ago and I was holding off because at the time I didn't know when Scallywagathon was gonna be happening. And so I'm really glad that it's this week because the book is like literally due back in like three days. So I have that on ebook and that will be the first book I'm reading after I'm done with this video stuff right here. So after that I'm heading over to number seven which is Shark Bait. Um, I think that is something with red on the cover or a book with red on the cover. And I picked the Comic Trade Lock and Key Volume 1 by Joe Hill and Gabriel Rodriguez. This is a comic, like a dark horror comic series. I think it's about this kid trying to find some, I don't know. I honestly have no idea what it was about, but I've heard great things and I'm super into horror comics right now. So after that, I'm taking a detour because all pirates like detours and just humans in general. So I'm just going to detour B, Thar She Blows. Oh, I think it was a book that blew up in popularity this year. I think that's what it is. I'm going to read Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. I saw, first saw this, I think the first Skywagathon in... November? I don't know what it was. I don't remember. And then the sequel just recently came out. So I've seen this or the sequel, Daughter of the Siren Queen, floating around booktube a lot. So I'm really excited to get this and I think this is like perfect for this readathon. So yay! Um, I think it's just about a girl that pretends to be captured on a pirate ship to find something. Yay! I also have my bookmark from the first one. I finished it and Allie from Harbeck Quarter emailed me a bunch of different images to make a bookmark and I did a double sided. So I have Skellywagathon, the map, and a quote. What does it say? There is more treasure in books than in all the pirates loot on Treasure Island. You can't see it. You can see my face. Oh, there it is. So cute. It's kind of tiny, but I'm excited to use it, especially since I have a physical book to use. So, okay. And the final prompt, I'm going to number nine, which will then lead me to the treasure. And that is going to be He Said, She Said by Aaron Kelly. This is, um, mystery thriller. I have no idea what it's about. It is for the Deadly Divas book of the month 
book club thing that's hosted by Lisa from Books and Smiles. And yeah, I'm really excited. I'm waiting it. I'm waiting for it to come in on audiobook. What is the prompt? Blow the Man Down, which is a book that is written by a woman. So Erin Kelly is a female. So I'm hoping that's going to come in sometime this week. But if it doesn't, I'm currently listening to Layer of Dreams by Libba Bray, which is book two of the Deminer series. I just started it Friday, and I'm only like 25% in, so it's kind of a cheat, but we're going with it because I'm a pirate, and I do what I want. Okay, so I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see like, everyone's TBRs. Like, I love it when like a lot of people join in on readathons. Thank you so much, Allie and Amanda, for co-hosting this event. Oh, I also picked up three of the Pirate of the Caribbean movies that aren't on Netflix. I believe Dead Men's Chess and uh, whatever the new one's called are both on Netflix. And so these are the ones that aren't on Netflix. So I'm gonna watch these. I didn't get, I only got to watch Black, uh, Black Pearl last time for the watch along. And I know the watch along's not happening this time, but um, I'm gonna be watching them. I'll start with Black Pearl maybe tonight. So I'll post on Twitter if anyone wants to like watch along with me or just like send me fun gifts and silly faces on Twitter. That'd be fun too. Okay, I think that's it. I'm a little rusty here, but we getting through it. I'm nursing a hangover, <laughs> having a little bit of the hair of the dog somewhere right here. Here's the deal. I've got a hangover. Who knows what that means? Doesn't that mean you're drunk? No, it means I was drunk yesterday. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Can't wait to see your guys' TBRs, what books you're reading. I think a lot of us are kind of reading the same books. I've seen a lot of The Daughter of the Blah Blah Blahs and To Kill a Kingdoms on there. So I'm excited to maybe like talk about those books with you guys too. So yeah. Okay, cool. See you next time. Bye.